All right. There are three basic economic systems. There's traditional, command, and market economy. Now, what you have to understand is that each of those systems answer the what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce differently. Okay? And you've got three kinds of economic systems, three basic questions, which means you have nine different answers that you have to learn. Okay, so let's take it with a traditional economy, what to produce. You need to understand that that is the same as previous generations. Whatever they made before you came along, that's what you're going to make. Okay, and uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you do what your fathers did or your mothers did, and before them they did what their fathers and their mothers did. Okay, so that's uh, how traditional economy answers what to produce. How to produce is the same way it was done in previous generations. Okay, if, if you're... Uh, if father was a farmer and he used certain farming equipment that's the same farming equipment that you're going to use and it's not going to change at all okay and then uh, lastly uh, for whom to produce okay you're just going to be trading with uh, people around you it's a barter system the traditional economies are barter systems so you know you might make uh, uh, you know squash or watermelons and you're going to trade it for eggs and uh, or, or maybe services like uh, you know to fix your roof you give them some uh, milk from a cow so the barter system is very much alive in a traditional economy most countries in the world don't have uh, traditional economies except in little pockets here and there. Uh, the United States has like the Amish okay, um, and those kinds of places. And that's about what you have. No money is exchanged whatsoever. However, in the next economic system called a command economy, then you've got uh, uh, the three questions answered completely differently. Okay, so in, in a command economy, what's produced is whatever the government tells you. In fact, that's the key to all understanding uh, command economies. It's whatever the government tells you to do, and that's what you're going to do. And if you don't like it, the government doesn't really react well to that. So what to produce? Whatever the government tells you. How to produce? However the government tells you to produce it. And for whom to produce? Well, not only will you give it who the government tells you to give it to, but generally speaking, like your elites in the party system, say like Communist Party, they're going to get the stuff first because they're members of the party. Okay? And then the exact opposite of a command economy is called a market economy. What to produce? Whatever people will buy. How to produce it? As cheap as you can produce it and still get people to buy it. And for whom to produce? Well, who's going to buy it? Because they can have it. Okay? And that's very important to remember the three basic economic systems and how each basic economic system answers what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce.